Go play Castlevania, learn what vampires are, back to zombies. <laughs> I just think there's way too many zombies nowadays. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're awesome, but... Yeah. There's just so much zombie um, stuff. But that being said, I'm sure it'd be awesome. I mean, like, how much is it? It's like five bucks or something? It's it's $10 on Microsoft and PSN. Um, what you get with it, though, is um, it, it's it's actually an expansion to the single player with single player missions and cutscenes with the sheriff and the farm girl and all the characters you met in the campaign. And basically, zombies are coming up and everybody's got to fight. You know about like, the McFarlane Ranch and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. That whole uh, Seth the Grave Digger is like Seth the Grave Digger Thrushy looks like a zombie anyway. That motherfucker's awesome. Yeah, it's it's really cool, and they sound sweet. They're 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 not just shambling; they're running too. So this is gonna be really sweet. The only kind of um, um, thing I played with the Wild West with zombies would be Killing Floor with a mod. Ah, that was awesome. Don't get me wrong, but this looks like it'll be um, fantastic. Yeah, thing is, I, I have what's even on Xbox. Is that uh, you're John Marston fighting zombies. What the fuck? I mean, John Marston has risen to, like, solid snake status and awesomeness. Well, I here's think. the funny thing about Red Dead Redemption. Hmm. I have not touched it. I bought it. <laughs> I got it with a shitload Dude, of money. get out of here now and play it. No, I literally, I got a shitload of money and credit, and I picked it up because I wanted to, and I have not touched it Dude, since. what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> and the yeah, funny, and funny thing? I adored Red Dead Red Revolver. Red Dead Revolver was, was a badass game. game. Not many people. It was it. such a very like it was so underrated. It so, was. So I hated it. <laughs> oh, there was so many like little train Go sequences, fuck. but were done really, really well. I thought. Yeah. Hmm. Let's mention me and some friends of mine. We literally played the multiplayer shootout for like eight hours one day. I don't know why. We just kept doing it. It's fucking hilarious. Dude, I can tell you, when this zombie thing comes out, I'm going to get a posse of eight people, and I'm going to go fucking zombie <laughs> hunt, dude. Most zombies in the town with zombies. I wonder if you can hog tie one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to wrestle me up some zombies. You know I really, really hope what I want is to be able to fight zombies in multiplayer, but what I really, really want, like this will, I'd pay $30 for this if we could just get zombies springing up all over the world map and just have a posse of eight fighting like to, like, across Austin, down to Mexico, across Austin, and back in a full circle up to the starting point. And just see how long you can last or if you can even make they it. They should do that, that like, should... with more stuff. Just put, like, an endless wave. It doesn't even need to be an official game type. I just want zombies to rise up, and then we're just going to make a path for ourselves. It'd be so cool. That would be awesome. So they, you they... talk about all this. There's one very important question that needs an answering. Hmm. What do you play it on? What, what 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 do you own the game on? I own Red Dead on PS3. I you might have to get it. I might have to get it. No, PS3. I don't suck because I don't need a red light of death to stop me from playing my game. I I have it on 360, but the thing is, I left my disc back up in Virginia from when I moved to Texas, and I've got the case, I've got the map, I've got the special edition of it. I got home, well, I got here. Well, I went to play. I thought, okay, yeah, I want to play Red Dead. I fucking love that game. I opened up the case, nothing in there. Fuck. So. <laughs> Now, garbage day. Garbage day. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm left with like this fucking box with a special edition. And, oh and... my god. <laughs> so what I might, I mean, I've just today I sold pretty much every 360 game I own because there's nothing left I want to play on it. I'm not interested in Connect. I'm interested in Fable 3, but I'll wait for the PC version. Gears of War. 3, Gears of War 3 is the only thing I. Want. Yeah, but I mean, this, this, <laughs> Gears of War, I'm not really that fussed about. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure yeah. it'd be fantastic, but. I'm not going to keep it that long for just for one con uh, one game. So I'm probably just going to get Red Dead or something when it's a bit down in price and pick up the zombie pack or Game of the Year edition or something, which is inevitable. I can just see myself riding on the on the shotgun seat of a uh, wagon and going, Dude, zombie panther! Bastard! <laughs> I wonder because, if they would uh, do like, the trailer, the Falcons. There are, there are zombie animals in the trailer. Oh so. my god. Like what? There is a zombie bear. Like, see... Like, Bears and panthers, I know for sure, are going to be zombie animals. And you can actually get a zombie horse to ride. <laughs> I would like to see, speaking of zombies, I'd like to see a Mafia 2 mod with zombies. Oh, God. You could, oh, my God. <laughs> it would just be funny, just hearing the, like, the uh, Italian accents and stuff around mm -hmm. New York and zombies and stuff. I'm sorry, that'd be awesome. I mean, the Mafia is already a very brutal, bloody crime and violent ridden thing so i think throwing zombies in the mix 
would not well, what be a they problem. would do would they they just the uh a don would capture a bunch of zombies and then torture somebody he'd just say i'm gonna throw you into the zombie pen and if they mm-hmm. don't tell him what he wants there you go bodies take oh care my god all right so, I think there should be a mafia <laughs> so what would you recommend for halloween i mean we we actually i put up an article today on madoverdose.co.na about the top 10 horror games if you're on a budget Basically, from anything under twenty bucks, but I think the only exception was Siren Blood Curse at thirty bucks. Mm-hmm. But in general, what would you play for Halloween? I think my top yeah, pick would be so. Amnesia. Um, I want to say Dead Space, but there's so much to play. But yeah, I'll go with Dead Space because I mean, I haven't played through it in a while, and it's the second cheap, one is coming up soon. So, what would you say, Nick? Dead Space. Nah, fuck you guys. Amnesia. Mm. Fuck your amnesia. I just played well, the demo and it made me sick. It why? is sick. No, nah, it wasn't really it made me sick. But I played yeah. through a bit of it, which was actually why you stopped hearing me briefly because apparently something in the demo didn't let me talk on Skype. But oh. I digress. I see. Um, or, you know what I'm going to play Halloween? Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Always, you know, any time of the year. I'm sorry, but like... Gear. Metal Solid 4. I've actually been playing, like, I was going to say in a minute, what have you guys been playing recently? I've been playing Mass Effect 2. I don't know why, but I just recently got back into that. And let me tell you, I'm starting to lean towards Shepard as the most badass, like, protagonist. Well, it's, it's, it, the thing that makes him cool is that it's just really a matter of how you play him. He doesn't give a shit. He has, like, the most, you know what? I want to change my, I want to change my submission. If he says Dead Space and you say Amnesia, I'm going to say Deadly Premonition. Yeah. We didn't mention Deadly Premonition. I've not played it. And oh. I think I'll ever get to play it. Deadly Premonition. It's yep. amazing. My word of advice to anybody who thinks it looks like crap, it looks like crap, but it is not. As soon as you play it, and if you have a sense of humor, you will love this game. So you would, say don't, you would say don't get Dead Rising 2, get that. And you would yeah. have... Yeah. Well, say, well, like, so for, the money, for the money you would spend on Dead Rising 2, you could get Amnesia, you could get uh, Deadly Premonition, you could get uh, the... Red and Dead, the Red Dead, Dead DLC. And 10 bucks left to spare. Uh-huh. Seems like an obvious so, choice. Indeed. Like, um... When you look at it that way, yeah. And Penumbra. If you're drunk on Halloween with a few friends, just play DP, and you're gonna be laughing at the coffee. Is it multiplayer? That's all I'm gonna say. Well, hey, hey. It never fails. <laughs> is, is it multiplayer? No, no it is not player. multiplayer. It is single player. But it's so fun. It's like, you know, it'd be like playing Mystery Science Theater, like a game based on that with that. And um, but, it's $20 brand new. Yeah, I got it used for 10 bucks. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's brand new. It's only 10 I mean, 20 Yeah. It's literally like... But it's not... Like, it's got a good storyline. It is interesting. And it's, it's lengthy. It's definitely like Mystery Science Theater 3000 style comedy. Like, you'll be laughing. And that's not yeah. a bad thing, because they definitely intentionally injected humor. Especially oh, with yeah. the sandwich. Yeah, I heard it. I mean, it looked like the a pretty sandwich. serious title, judging <laughs> by the box and whatnot. It, it's just, yeah. Like, um, like I, I honestly, I read of one of the few times GameSpot has really given a good thing, in my opinion. They said for uh, Deadly Premonition, it's, uh, it's a lot of people would say a game like this. You know, they think we're just saying it's a good game because it's so bad it's good. And they say, no, it's not so bad, it's good. It's actually a really good game. Mm-hmm. And it's, I, it's I, one of those honestly, games words can't where, for that game, because it's really yeah. nice. It's one of those games where you have to get it. You cannot look at it as a game. You have to look at it as a humorous game. You gotta, yeah. you gotta get it, like, looking into it just... What was that mm-hmm. friggin' Dreamcast game you was on about earlier, Taylor? That sounded really Carrier. badass. What was it called? Carrier. Like yeah. an aircraft carrier. Yeah. I would like to try it if I get like uh, an emulator or something. <laughs> Definitely look for a ROM. And if you find it, let me know. Because oh, I'd love I can to do a little... get hold of it easy enough, but obviously you won't. I'd talk love about to where. do a let's play of it with Fraps. That'd be great. Yeah. I mean I'm sure it'd be pretty easy, but then you say it's like Resident Evil four aiming with like it's, pre-rendered backdrops and stuff. It's I saw, I saw a video. It's Resident... kind of like uh, it, it's not pre-rendered as such. It's 3D camera, but it kind of mm-hmm. follows in like slides. It's in a way. It's an old school Resident Evil clone in terms of gameplay, but instead of aiming at an up and down and forward general direction, the left stick actually pinpoints where exactly you want to aim, like Resident Evil Four. And instead of a laser sight, if your traje- traje- tra- trajectory 
is on an enemy, a cursor will show up on their arm, leg, head, or whatever you're aiming at. So you can actually hit them and slow them down or pop them in the skull like in Resident Evil 4. I think the only thing I heard about it was that it was very good until Code Veronica came out. And then Code Veronica kind of just blew it away. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's graphics are a step under, but still, it's so good. Um, the voice acting is so-so, but it's way above the original Resident Evil, so... Actually, speaking That's of Resident Evil, I'm going to change my vote from, like, best horror game to play this Halloween to, like, Resident Evil Remake. That is still, like, I don't know what it is, but most, like, one, at least once a year, I'll go back and play Resident Evil Remake. It's so fucking nice. awesome. Yeah. And it looks good, even now. Yeah, Remake, I gotta say, Remake is one of the... Of last timeless. generation, it's probably held up the best graphics wise too. And but what I don't get is I don't get why they remade it for the Wii. Because like I said to Taylor earlier, when you weren't here, Nick, because you was kind of you know having a life and whatnot, talking about Capcom. and uh, basically they they made the remake of the original, and then they port the remake from the GameCube onto the Wii, with no differences whatsoever except where you can play with the Wii Mo and Nunchuck. Okay, fine. You know why? You know why? Because Capcom smelt money. Exactly. <laughs> but the, the stupid thing is, you can play the GameCube version on the Wii anyway. And you can pick I up know. the GameCube version like, for like 10 You know bucks. how many people would still buy it on the Wii because they're fucking... Well, I'm yeah, people know. obviously I do. We're a public show. Sold out in a lot of places. Nice. But, but uh, I would rather play with a controller than the Wiimote. It's not as if it's got motion in it anyway. Yeah, well, besides, I, I really... Well, actually, Resident Evil 4 was a game that... It, Adapted itself really well for the Wii controls. Honestly, I Wii version is definitely the definitive version of Resident Evil 4. If mm -hmm. it goes, yeah, but it took like it, four it, years for it to happen. Like, then. honestly, if it could have been only on the Wii, I think that would be the absolute perfect way for Resident Evil. Like, if you don't have Resident Evil 4 for some crazy reason, you you will not go wrong getting it on the Wii because it's really I have to I have to confess, perfect. I had it on the Cube and the PS2, then I bought it on the Wii, and I played it like more than I did both of those systems combined. I played I it for a bit on the Wii. I was I couldn't get used to it, but I mean I was only playing. I only played it for like you know half an hour, so I obviously didn't get used to it quick enough. But it seemed like it would be awesome. But it just needed to spend a bit of time to get used to it. Bear in mind yeah. that was probably like one of the first times I'd actually ever used a Wii, so yeah. quite a learning curve. But I mean, don't get me wrong, it looked better. But as far as the Resident Evil series goes, Resident Evil remakes the best. Yeah, Resident Evil Two. Uh, I think it's been overrated. I gotta go in, with in terms two. of atmosphere and scariness, the first one definitely. Resident Evil Remake is the best. Zero was But okay. in terms of just overall win, gotta go with two. I don't know. Zero. I, I'm awesome. sorry. I love I two. That was I think Leon is what sells two. If no, it was uh, any other character, you wouldn't like it as much. Funny thing, actually, it's Claire that sold two for me because that was the first time I ever played a Resident Evil game. Was my brother borrowed a uh, Resident Evil Two Claire disc from a friend of his. And I played that game nonstop. Shit, I remember my dad getting shit a brick because I was like six years old, but I played the shit out of it. I remember my and dad getting so... Resident Evil One the day it came out in like '96, like the day yeah. we got the PlayStation or whatever. And that thing was fucking awesome. I remember not going to school the next day because I was just like up all night watching him play it, and then completing it before him. Jeez. But I mean, it's because that reason though that Clara is my favorite character in the Resident. I had yeah. I had first played Resident Evil Two Leon A. And then, this was back when I was a little kid, and I was still being babysat, and for some reason my mom still took me to my babysitter's house, and her one of her family members had the first Resident Evil on PlayStation, so I played it, and the freaking insane ticking of the grandfather clock in the dining room scared me to turn it on, <laughs> <laughs> because I was so little. 